Hey everyone. This week I'm going to take a slight divergence from talking uh, digital transformation and hardcore business change. And we're actually just going to talk about being decent human beings for a bit. Uh, in particular, the use of pronouns. So uh, I've started to use my own pronouns in my work life and my personal life. And it's generated uh, quite a few questions, so I thought I'd do a quick video. Um, and this is just one of those little up levels about how to continue to be a better person. So um, pronouns, if you haven't come across this already, it's often um, the de denomination at the end of somebody's name. And people might choose pronouns of she, her, he, him, or them, they. Um, sometimes you will see she, they, and vice versa, like you, all sorts of combinations, right? But pronouns are really about uh, an individual identifying to the world how they would like to be referred to. Uh, and it is tied in with this whole conversation about gender identity and uh, just starting to live in a more diverse and wonderfully rich and colourful world. So uh, I was at a um, firefighter training last week. We had one of our regular trainings out and about. And some of you may know that I live in the South Island of New Zealand. Um, Southland farming country is pretty conservative. <laughs> you could say. Um, and a lot of the people that I work with in the fire brigade are lovely big burly blokes, which you start to talk about things like pronouns and they, they kind of back off you a little bit, right? They wonder what's coming. Who is this blonde woman that's coming at me with it? Like, what's going on? So I chose to introduce myself with my pronouns and uh, it, it, it went down, I thought it went down pretty well. I feel that, you know, if that's somebody's first experience of the use of pronouns where, as I introduced myself, I said, my name's Danelle Jones, my preferred pronouns are she, her, and, and you can see people's faces kind of going, what are you doing? Like, just what's going on? And uh, anyway, we got through with a couple of chuckles, and I said to them, you know, this is, this is your first experience of somebody doing this, but, you know, the next time that you meet someone who chooses to use their pronouns and they identify um, that for you, then maybe it'll be a little bit less weird. So, you know, if this cisgender, hetero, super kind of normal blonde woman can do it, then maybe, you know, somebody that doesn't quite fit into that box of what, um, maybe what you're used to, um, wanting to, you know, start to educate you and bring you into that diverse world, maybe it won't be quite so painful next time. So um, we, all, we all had a good giggle, but it generates conversation, right? And that's almost 100% of why I do it, because the reality is that pronouns are not about me. And this is the thing that I'm teaching all of my fire brigade in Southland. Pronouns are not about us. It's got nothing to do with me. By choosing to um, share my preferred pronouns with the world, by choosing to do that uh, when I meet new people, when I'm in a new situation, what it says to others is that as an individual, I'm prepared to show up and hold space for you to be who you are, to be you fully. And the story I often find myself in with, um, with a lot of these, mainly guys, but also women, um, but the story I find myself in with a lot of these folks is along the lines of, you know, it's, it's not about me, it's about the person who is on the other end who may be receiving this message and for whatever reason just needs to hear that today. Uh, because I can't imagine what it would be like to grow up not feeling fully comfortable in my body for any number of reasons. Oh, that must be incredibly difficult. And so if I can make this one little, tiny little modification to my behavior that makes a whole bunch of people feel a whole heap safer and, and just demonstrates that there's a little bit more kindness in the world than maybe what some of their experience has been to date, easy peasy. So that's why I do it. Uh, so yeah, I wanted, I wanted to share that this week because it's one of these things that sits sort of on the periphery of you know, what we do in our businesses and in our lives. But this is about being a decent human being as well. This is about showing up, not just for ourselves, but for others. It's about welcoming, welcoming diverse perspectives into our environment. And it's about all of us just trying a few new and different things and trying to get outside our own boxes, trying to get outside our own perspective and really welcome some of that diversity into the work that we do, um, you know, making people feel welcome and generally just spending, spreading a little bit of kindness in the world. Uh, so I think that's probably about as much as I wanted to share today. Uh, if you haven't tried it before, go out and try it. Use your pronouns. Uh, LinkedIn's really good now. They're allowing you to add your preferred pronouns, which is super cool. Facebook is still 
like terrible at it, but we keep our fingers crossed that they will get better. Um, and try introducing yourself. Give it a go. Let's see what happens. Um, I think one of the most profound stories I, I heard was a, a colleague who uh, their company had gone through this process of adding, um, ad optionally, adding preferred pronouns to email signatures. And this person had said to me, they confided in me, that they thought nothing of it. They thought, oh, this is like the cool thing to do. Cool. Yeah, okay, on board. Thought nothing of it until I saw an email signature from one of my team members that didn't use the pronouns that I expected. And all of a sudden, I went, oh, might need to do a little bit of self-reflection. Might need to actually start thinking about these things. So, yeah, there may be people out there that, uh, you know, welcome this message in your team and you just don't even know that you can do this for them yet. So I encourage you to go out, use your pronouns, try it on. We're all going to make mistakes. Part of why I'm doing this video as well is not to tell you the absolute perfect right way to do things, um, but just to demonstrate that, hey, we're all stepping into this together and we're all going to have a bit of a go at this. And sometimes we fail and sometimes we have epic fails. Um, but equally, there are people around us that will hold on to us, help us, support us through this process. And uh, yeah, I hope that you go out there and you try and use your pronouns and you start engaging in this conversation because it's about being a decent human being. Remember, it's not about you, it's about other people. So I hope wherever you are in the world today, you're having an awesome, awesome day. And uh, I will catch you again next week. Thank you very much for your time.